y'all, it's Michelle from The Scattered Scrapper. Welcome to my channel. Today I wanted to share with you my plans and some of the supplies that I plan on using for documenting December this year. I am going to be using this album from Simple Stories. And the way that I do December daily is I follow along with Chamel's class called Journal Your Christmas. And I mostly follow that, but then I also will put my own things um, into my album because not everything goes with the prompts that she has every day. So it's kind of a mix between just what we normally do in December and um, her little prompts and things. So I'm going to be using this album and I love the Simple Stories albums because they are big. <laughs> I have lots and lots of room here that I get to fill up the pages and I can be as creative and chunky or as thin as I want to. And I usually stop at December 25th, but I was kind of thinking that this year I might go on through the 12 days of Christmas, but I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to do that. But with this album, I think I have plenty of room to do that if I would, if I want to. And I used her or Chamel's list of items on her blog at chamel.com and, and I will link a post in the description to her blog post about Journal Your Christmas and the um, items that she was planning on using this year or the list of things that she had and I didn't purchase anything new this year so I just went stash diving and for my main papers I'm going to be using this 6x8 pad from Crate Paper. It's Busy Sidewalks. I think this was either last year's or yeah, 2021's. So it was last year's Christmas line from Crate Paper. And I just love it. It's so cute. I love that page. It's so adorable. So it is the traditional red and green, but then it also has some turquoise and pink thrown in there for good measure. There's um, like a mint color. And so there's a broad range. There's some yellow in the lights there, and it's got gold foiling on it. And so um, I like that. It's a good base, I think. And in addition to that, I decided to pull in this 6x6 paper pad from My Mind's Eye called Holly Jolly. And it has the pinks and the greens and the reds. So I think it'll be a nice addition to add in some, you know, different kind of styling. We've got a similar color palette, but definitely a different mood and feel. But I like it a lot. And it also has the gold foiling. And I've had this paper pad for a long time and have never used it. So I'm excited to use it this year. And then it repeats. And this is from 2019. And I think I found it um, at Tuesday morning one year. Maybe two or three years ago. So I definitely, definitely need to get started with that. And then I also am adding in the Vicki Booten Warm Wishes 6x8 paper pad. Again, it's the reds and the greens, more of the traditional but then it also throws in some yellows and um, more of the turquoise. And there's kind of that um, mixed media grungy look to it. So a whole nother different feel to use. So I am excited to use that. And I actually have got this last year to use for last year's Journal Your Christmas or Christmas Documenting, however, um, December Daily, however you want to call it. And 
I didn't get a chance to do one last year. We just were way too busy. So I'm going to have to go back <laughs> and, um, and do that. But I was like, um, I have it. I love it. Let's get it into an album. So I'm going to use that for my papers. And also the album itself came with some inserts. And so I will probably be using some of these here and there. I'm not a hundred percent sure. I do know I'm going to use the calendar. I love having a calendar in with my December album. And then I also have the Busy Sidewalks Ephemera. So I'm going to be using that. And I have two packs from Warm Wishes. So I will be using those. And let's see, what else do I have? Oh, I do have the sticker book from Busy Sidewalks. So that's going to be really cute to use. This, I, let's see, this page right here is paper. That's clear, clear, clear. This one is paper, clear, clear. And then this first one is clear. Now, me and clear stickers don't necessarily get along too well. I do tend to put them on white cardstock and just cut them out. But we'll see how that goes. So I have that, and then I also have the Warm Wishes little sticker sheets. I think they call this a sticker book, but I mean, it's not really a book, is it? <laughs> so I have that and I am so excited for this. I want to use these for my days. Hopefully I'll remember that. <laughs> and then I have the Busy Sidewalks Puffy Stickers. How cute are these? And I love them, love them so much that there are so many different cookie shapes in here because we have a tradition where we go to my husband's parents' home and she makes tons of sugar cookies and the kids decorate them and they just make all kinds of cookies. And so I am definitely going to be using those. And then I have the Warm Wishes puffy stickers, which also has a set of numbers. Like how cute are these teeny tiny little numbers? Hope you can see that. And these little bitty puffy hearts and stars and shapes and tiny little words. This is going to be a lot of fun to use. Um, let's see, what else do I have? I also have from the Holly Jolly collection, some brads and some twine. And I love this little ribbon here. I'm excited to use that. And then I have the Holly Jolly enamel dots and then some enamel dots from Cartabella. I think when Echo Park had a, uh, a sale sometime either this past year or last year, I just grabbed them when they were on sale. So I've got those. And I also have a bunch of sequins, so if I want to make a shaker pocket, then I can do that. So I'm excited to use that. And then I also have the chipboard stickers from the Warm, Wish Warm Wishes collection. Look how cute this little bird is. It's so sweet. So I've got that to use, and then I also have these um, puffy titles that I might can use somewhere, and it also is gold. Both of those have the gold on them. And let's see here, what else do I have? I have this sheet from Warm Wishes of cut aparts that I plan to use, and also I pulled a few more papers, the 12 by 12 size, um, just kind of based on the supplies that Chamel is planning on using in hers. So I've got this wood grain here with the pretty snowfall on it. Um, it came out of a paper pad. I think it was another My Mind's Eye, either Comfort and Joy or the other one. Now I can't remember the name of it, but I got that out of a paper pad. I got this one, which is kind of like a burlap 
with this um, floral print on it, which I just, this is so pretty. I love this. And I got it out of a paper pad, and I can't remember now which one it was. I want to say it was like farmhouse backgrounds or something like that. <laughs> and then I have the cut aparts from Crate Paper's Busy Sidewalks, so these will be really fun to use. So I'm excited to use those. And then um, she also suggests some mixed media elements. So I have this beautiful, well, let me move this so you can see it. Though you can't see it there. Let me get it. Let me pull out that paper again so that you can see it. But I have this beautiful um, stencil here from scrappingreflections.com. Sandy from State Goddess here on YouTube. She has a store that sells beautiful stencils. So I'm planning on using this one. And then I also have a bunch of other ones. So I have this one from Away in a Manger from Echo Park. And I have these trees from Happy Trails from Simple Stories. This will, I, I plan on using this one for our picking up our Christmas tree this year. And then I have these snowflakes from Simple Stories. And I have the Warm Wishes stencils which has the falling snowflakes and then this really intricate snowflake pattern here and then the pine boughs here. So I'm excited to use those. And of course we need something to put through the stencils. So I have Distress Grit Paste in Snowfall. So I'm going to, um, mm, can't talk. I'm excited to try that out. And you know, I had to, if you watched any of my Scrappoween videos for October, you know what I'm about to pull out. <laughs> yes, it is the Distress Mica Stain in Winter Frost, which when you shake it up, it's not quite that blue, but this one is a blue one. Hopefully you can see that. This one is called Tart Cranberry. Did I say what that one is? Winter Frost? This one is called Tart Cranberry. And when you shake it up, it's got more red to it. So that's going to be fun. And then this one is called Fresh Balsam. So that's going to be a beautiful green. I don't know if you can see in there. It's kind of a darker green. And then it has this kind of bluish tone to it. So I am so excited to use those. That was my favorite product back in October was the Distress Mica Stains, and I was putting those on every layout that I did. <laughs> and then in addition to those, I also have these Pops of Color from Scrapbook.com in gold and silver that I am hoping to use. And then last but not least, I have some Nouveau Glitter Drops. This one is called Holiday Cheer. And it looks like it would be this really weird color, but this, it dries clear and then it has this really shimmery, um, iridescent glitter in it. It's really, really pretty. So I'm anxious to use that. And then I also have some Distress Oxides in Festive Berries, Rustic Wilderness, Mode Lawn. Those are the traditional colors to go with the paper pads that I have. And then I also have pulled out tumbled glass, scattered straw, spun sugar, and kitsch flamingo in case I want to throw a little bit of non-traditional into the mix. And let's see. Oh, I also have... <laughs> so that's like my main... My main core kit, I guess you could say. But then, because I can't leave it at just that, I have pulled out all of my stamps and some dies to use that are Christmas related or could be used for Christmas. I got some from Ellie's Studio 
and here's an Echo Park one that goes with the way in a manger. A lot of Ellie Studio. I love Ellie Studio's Christmas um, stamps, and I think there's um, just several different kinds in here, and I have some of this, these bigger ones, and a lot of dies. I, anything and everything that I thought I could use, I just put it together. Um, I even have some embossing folders in here. So I've got that and then a bunch of washi tape here that's all kind of Christmassy related. So I have that. And I also have the stamps from Busy Sidewalks. And I got these new this year from the Tim Holtz. Um, Stampers Anonymous. The beautiful greenery here with these little stencils behind it and some little words here and then I I love this. You could use this pretty much all year. Um, it does have happy holidays, tis the season, peace on earth, joy to the world, comfort and joy, but just look at that. Um, the wood, wood round, what, what do you call that with the, <laughs> with the heartwood in it, but, and then these deer, oh, they're so cute, and you can never go wrong with stars, and then it has the stencil behind it as well, so I'm excited to see what I can do with those, and in addition to that, <laughs> I also have this little bucket here of just bips and bobs. I've got some buttons and the Tim Holtz little metal pieces and words and things. And then lots of journaling cards here. Whoops. And last but not least, I have my little bucket here of puffy stickers, wood stickers, and I just threw it all out onto <laughs> the table, but that's okay. These um, fa-la-la um, little wood veneer, and of course these um, little light bulbs here, and somewhere in here, which I'm not sure where, um, is my, fav my most favorite. Here we go. These are my most favorite it's kind of hard to see them there. I absolutely love these. these are perfect for a finishing touch on a page. I just love them. And even though I have two packets here, I think I probably need to go to Hobby Lobby and get some more while they're on sale. <laughs> I think you can never have too many of these. So yeah, I'm, I have a, a crafty lunch here and I haven't even started um, scrapbooking yet, but <laughs> I have all of these things to pull from just in case I need something a little bit extra because I'm always needing something a little bit extra. So that is all for what I've got pulled out for me to use to document my December this year. I hope everyone has had a wonderful start to their December. And I hope that you have wonderful times with your family, making lots and lots of memories. And I'm not sure how many videos I will get put up, but I will be putting up some here and there with some pages in my um, December daily. Um, the school year is, or this semester, is getting ready to wind down, so that will free up some time for me, but then all of the things that we do for the Christmas season is going to be gearing up, and I will definitely be taking lots of pictures and trying to be in the moment as well as documenting, so be on the lookout. Um, I hope to get a few videos up, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.